Welcome back to PHW, and tonight we have the final episode of PHW Nitro Season 1, where we are going to hear from the new World Heavyweight Champion, John Moxley. You're right, I deserve it. I went through the most punishment I've went through to get this championship. I can finally call myself world champion, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. I beat Roman Reigns, and not only did I gain this championship, I gained my brother back. You see, Roman Reigns, he got out of his head, chasing the goal of becoming world champion. He needed to be humbled. And that is exactly what I did to him. And now we're on good terms. Me and Roman are friends for the first time in over a year. And I am going to take this championship to new heights as the fourth PHW World Champion. I have a surprise for you guys tonight because my first defense will be right now. Anyone in that locker room can step out and face John Moxley. Moxley looking to host an open challenge. Who's going to answer? Oh my. It's him. It's Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo gets another world title shot here tonight. He had a great showing in the Money in the Bank ladder match back in January. But can he beat John Moxley tonight for the title? That Mox just Melo now eyeing down Mox. Big kick. Stuns Mox. Springboard by Melo. Off the ropes. Caught him. Oh, reverse. Mox has Melo up. Duplex. Mox now has Melo in a power bomb. Launches him on his head. Melo shoots. He don't miss. Mello now springing off, gets caught in the paradigm shift. And Moxley with the win here tonight. Mello put up a good fight, but he could not overcome the odds. You know what I'm sick of? I'm sick of the lack of respect for me. I am one of the best wrestlers on God's green earth, yet no one seems to care in this company. I should be fighting for the world championships, but instead I am booked in random matches. But fine, maybe I have to prove to the people in this company that I can go with some of the best. And there's one man that I want to fight more than anyone else. That is Damian Priest. He made a fool of me. I won the Battle Royale Extreme Rules and I was supposed to challenge him for the Intercontinental Championship. But I took a risk. I decided to use my contract against what it said and enter the Money in the Bank ladder match, which I lost. Then Damian Priest decided to make a fool out of me by cutting a promo saying I'm a disappointment. And then in the Battle Royal, I could not beat every other participant and walk out as Intercontinental Champion. But neither could Damian. So that is why at PHW's next pay-per-view, Halloween Havoc, I challenge Damian Priest to a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match. No weapons, no judgment day, just a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, and looks like Priest gonna come out. Priest now eyeing down Danielson. Offering out his hand. Danielson's gonna accept. Looks like this match will be official. Kane has Jeff Hardy. Power slam. Hardy hitting off the ropes. Gets absolutely mutilated by that boot. And Kane down him. Choke slam. Big red machine. Oh my god! No way! 
This has to be a nightmare situation. It's his brother, The Undertaker. These two staring down. What does Taker want? Oh my, it looks like Taker wants a casket match with Kane. Welcome back to PHW. I hope you're excited for this episode of PHW Nitro. I do got some sad news relating to this though, as this episode of PHW Nitro will be the last episode. And that is because PHW is getting a brand new weekly show. So without further ado, please welcome PHW Combat. This show will have a stacked roster like no one's ever seen. The best matches will be put on. However, I will not be general manager for this show. I need someone to step up and take the role, take the lead. So I was thinking, who could possibly fit the role of general manager? And I thought of one person. So please welcome the general manager of PHW Combat. Thank you, Parker, for this opportunity. I will not disappoint as general manager. I, Latino Heat, will book the best matches. I will book the best rivalries. I will show off the greatest talent in PHW. I will be a fair general manager to everyone. Well, maybe except Dominic, because he's a piece of trash. But everyone else will get a fair shot. I am so happy to be in this position. And I will make the best brand in this company's history. Oh my! Logan Paul just attacked Finn Balor backstage. What the heck? These two have an upcoming match at Halloween Havoc. No respect for his opponent. But now we'll hear from the bloodline. I may have lost my PHW World Heavyweight Championship, but I gained something in the process. I was able to bury the hatchet with John Moxley. I realized my mistakes. I put him through so much over a championship that I could have gained with him rather than against him. But back to bloodline business. The bloodline may have lost the only world title in this, but the Usos still have their tag team championships. I'm still the tribal chief. I still call the shots. And I'm going to gain another championship in the bloodline at some point or another. But without further ado, Solo, bring me the Ulafala. Oh no. Oh my gosh. He just gave the Ulafala to the rock. Oh my gosh. What? Jey Uso just attacked Roman and Jimmy just gave the approval to. Solo, oh my gosh, what is happening? The bloodline imploding! Oh my gosh! I'm at a loss for work, DDT! So to the outside, Jay flings away his shirt! Oh my gosh, that's your tribal chief! Oh! This doesn't mean anything. I'm the high 
Chi. What is I'm happening? You don't get to make up the travel chief and win the blow line over. And now Jimmy with the table. Roman getting up. Massive headbutt by Solo. And it's busted open the tribal chief. And the Rock just stepping on the Ulafala. Oh my gosh. What is happening? And now the Uso setting up for the 1D. Oh my gosh! John Moxley! Oh my gosh, Moxley! Coming out to save Roman! This is something I never thought I would see. And he's just absolutely giving it to the Usos, but no, Solo. The numbers game and throws him into the steps. And now Jay attacking Roman. And now Rock with the chair pile driver to the tribal chief. Spinning Solo. And now the Rock. The Rock gonna just absolutely destroy Moxley with the chair. And you can see his eye wound has opened up. And now. Oh my gosh, what? Seth Rollins is back. We haven't seen him since he dislocated his shoulder. When the Rock threw to the outside of the ring. And a blockbuster to Solo Sokoa. Seth Rollins going to save John Moxley. But when Jimmy jumps, Seth catches him. Jay with a spear. And the Rock with a rock bottom. Solo Sokoa with a power bomb. And the one D through the table. The bloodline just destroyed everyone. And I, I don't know I don't know what this means for the future of PHW. Roman Reigns is not your travel chief. Bloodline, you picked the wrong three men to beat up. And the shield wants to fight. So how about this? In the main event of Halloween Havoc. It'll be John Moxley, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins against the Uso, Solo Soko, and The Rock. And if you guys win, you get the Ulafala. You get to keep the tag team titles. But if we win, Reigns gets the Ulafala, and me and Seth get the tag team titles. Now I'll make it official. Main event, Halloween Havoc. Faction versus faction, Bloodline versus Shield, winners take all. Thank you all so much for watching. Season 2 of PHW Nitro will be out soon, and goodbye.